Good morning, beautiful people of God. This is Prophetess Rivers with another word, another message. Today, I want to talk to everyone about walking away. I know it sounds easier said than done, but you can do it. Whether it's a relationship, a marriage, a job, walking away from a situation, period. Something that is toxic, something that doesn't mean you any good because we try to hold on to things because that's all we know or we've been doing that or holding on to it for so long that we don't know if we'll be able to even make it without that. It could be a good job, but the job causes you so much drama, so much stress in your life, but you hold on to it because it pays good. Or it could be a person that you know they don't mean you any good. You know that they're not a good friend. But you hold on to that person because you've known them ever since you were a child. Or it could even be you being in a relationship with someone. You know that person is not going to change. You know that person has been a cheater. That they're going to continue to cheat. That even when you look them in their eyes, you know that that man or woman is lying. But you hold on to them because you don't want to start over. In the Bible, Jesus tells a story of a rich man that comes to Jesus and he thinks because he knew the rules that it would help him enter into heaven. And God was saying, no, Jesus is saying, in order for you to enter in, I want you to sell all your possessions, everything that you have and give it to the poor. Well, you would think because he knew the rules and he was a rich man that that wouldn't be a problem for him. But that man walked away sad because... He idolized those possessions that he had more than he idolized and wanted to surrender, surrender his life to God. Do you love that person more than you love God? Do you love that person more than you love yourself? Do you love that job more than your well-being? Because that man walked away sad and all he had to do was give it up. All he had to do was walk away from it. And Jesus said, he looked at the disciples and said, it would be easier for a camel to go through a needle of an eye. Or I think I, pr I pray I'm saying it right. Than for a man to enter into heaven. You can walk away from that person. You can walk away from that situation. You can walk away from that job. No one else can do it but you. We can tell you. But at the end of the day, it has to be you because if you don't walk away from it and you're only walking away because your friends or family members or people told you this person wasn't no good or they told you that that job ain't the only job out there, then you're going to run back to that. Now, the question of the week, sorry, the question of the week is if a woman was to divorce her husband, should she keep his last name? Me, myself, personally, I feel that. I'm not going to keep nothing you don't want me to keep. If you want your last name, take your last name. But I feel that if I've established a business or I've done a lot with that last name, then I'm going to fight you for that last name because it wasn't just your last name. When I married you, it became my last name as well. So I'm going to fight for that last name if I have a business or if I've established anything with that last name. But if I haven't and it's just I just been with you for years and you just decide that you don't want to be with me or whatever the case may be. I don't want nothing that you want me to have except for my kids. We're going to fight over them. But besides that, if you don't want me to have it, you keep your stuff. I'll keep my stuff. I'll go my way. You go your way. So I don't have to worry about you ever again. But that's just the way I feel. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And all that you do, give God the honor, glory, and praise. To God be the glory.